It's time to take a snapshot of your life coming up on today's video. Welcome back to the channel everyone, I'm Justin Hebert, joined as always by Dr. Hugh Beatty, and welcome back to Limitless Longevity, where today we want to empower our viewers, Dr. Beatty, about taking a snapshot of their life. And really what I mean by that, this analogy is to say, take a picture of your life, where it's at at this moment, your, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physical health, your mental, your finances, your relationships, like everything that makes up you. Stand back from your life and just kind of objectively take a picture. Yes. And if you like where it's at, keep going. And if you don't, how can we work on improving it? So, Dr. Betty, let's take a snapshot on your life. How are you doing? Where, where do you think, like, I am living my best life in this particular moment? Uh, I think I'm doing pretty good. But instead of a snapshot, I like that rolling video. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I like show it. my personality. Yeah. Show the growth. But, yes. yeah, taking a snapshot right here. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with what is going on in my life yeah. and the direction I'm going in, but there's still room for improvement. You know, I need to improve some aspects of my health. I need to read a little bit more. I need to walk a little closer with God. I need to also spend time resting and relax, mm -hmm. relaxing. So there's some things that I, I'm constantly focusing on. But that's what life is all about. It is. Constantly trying to pursue excellence. And that is the key thing that is always the takeaway from this exercise on the coaching side. You're aware of that because you've stopped and to take that inventory. But what I have seen in the years of my practice, far too often people don't actually stop to take that assessment. And they just keep on going, assuming this is the way it's always been. And this is the way it always has to be. Mm -hmm. And the power and the benefit behind taking that snapshot is to say, maybe we can pause just long enough to say, can we try a new path or go a different direction? Yeah. I said for many years that an unexamined life is not worth living. Yep. So we need to take a minute and meditate and reflect on where we are and what needs to be changed. How can we improve? Like in my medical practice or my wellness practice, I constantly think about that. What can I do better? How can I be more efficient? How can I get that patient to the goal that they want in life is to be well. Yeah, absolutely. And that goal comes from taking that reflection. Mm -hmm. And so on the coaching side of it, we start, I, I think we've talked before, Dr. Mm -hmm. Beatty uses this pyramid analogy mm -hmm. as the five pillars. I use uh, a, a pyramid example myself and say, how do we actually start at the, the, the foundation? Mm -hmm. What's your calling in life? Right. And then from there, we look at just what are the different elements that make you, you. And a lot of times what we see is there's typically one area where they are just completely unhealthy, right? right. My marriage is great, my finances are great, but I'm miserable at my job. Oh, or yes. my health is great, uh, my emotions are strong, but my finances are in shambles, mm -hmm. right? That typically, if we don't stop and examine, we find one area that is causing chaos in the rest. And so we really want to encourage them to take that holistic approach. Yeah, you just gave me a thought. I talk about the five pillars of health. I need to have something called the five pillars of life. There okay. you go. Yes. What are the areas I need to focus on? Yes. I'm going to give that some thought today. Do it. Give it some <laughs> thought, right? And that's really the point of, yeah. of taking that snapshot, that far too often we get to a significant moment in our life, and we yeah. might ask ourselves the question, well, how on earth did I get here? Oh, yes. And sometimes, unfortunately, it may be too late to change the outcome. Mm -hmm. But stopping and pausing regularly helps us assess, this is where I'm at. Do I like the direction that is trending in my life? Yes. And we see it on the picture side, how many times have you know, somebody's taken a picture of the, themselves and then they notice that's the first time, hey, what's that spot on my face, right? And then they go to the doctor and they're like, oh, you know, we need to get this treated, let's get it biopsied. Like, unfortunately, on the medical side, I'm, I'm sure you see those things happen. And it oh, yeah. happens in those snapshot moments where somebody takes a picture of themselves and realizes my health isn't where it should be. You can actually apply that to the rest of your life. Yes, you definitely can. And, and that's what's critical. I have patients sometimes come and they're concerned about one aspect of their blood test. Mm -hmm. And they bring these, these isolated, solitary numbers of me. And I say, I don't see a trend here. Yeah. That's just a snapshot of where you are or where you were at that time. Uh, you can have an elevated white count because you were sick two weeks ago and the blood was drawn two weeks ago. But today, your white count might be normal and you're, you're healthy. So I have to constantly remind people of that. And on that, on that health side, I think that's a good mm -hmm. point. Some of that blood work sometimes, mm -hmm. it may appear to be normal, but yes. you can't analyze those trends. You don't know that, that the direction it's heading. You also probably can't just isolate one particular mm -hmm. reading and apply it broadly mm -hmm. to the person. Well, mm -hmm. you have 
let's say, you know, something I know you face in your office, you have low testosterone. So I'm just going to mm -hmm. give you an injection to boost your testosterone levels. Probably works for very few, if any, of your patients right. because there are other things that are going on that need to be addressed. Who cares if I give you a testosterone prescription if you're still going to be stressed and not sleep and not eat healthy and not fix all of these other outside factors? Yeah, I don't like being prejudiced. Yeah. Prejudice right. means prejudge. Yes. And I don't want to make a judgment without appropriate information. Right. And so the thing is, and if my judgment is going to be sound, I need as much information as I possibly can. Is this person medically managed? Is this person actually well and don't need to be medically managed? Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to make that mistake in prejudgment. And that is really the benefit that you have by mm -hmm. watching these videos and mm -hmm. taking action on the tips that we give you. Yeah. You can, without prejudice, assess mm -hmm. your own life. Where is it headed? by understanding right now where you're at. So top, stop for just a second and take that snapshot of your life. Do you like where it's at? What would you like to fix? How can you challenge yourself to go be and do better this week? Because we'd love to support you. This is Dr. Beatty, I'm Justin Hebert, and we will see you on a future video. Everybody, Justin here, and I wanted to follow up that idea of the snapshot to give you some practical tools on how you can implement this. And one of the ways we see this on the coaching side is to imagine your life as a wheel and just rate every single one of your categories on a scale of one to 10. My marriage is an eight, my finances are a two, my job is a six, and just kind of plot if 10 is the outside of the circle and one is the inside, how balanced is your wheel? Or do you have some areas that are fairly even, but then your finances are unhealthy and you've got this pie shape cut out of it? That whatever it is, you can sit down and assess the quality and direction and smoothness of your ride by understanding how balanced and perspective your life has and ultimately where it will lead you.